Alright, so welcome back to a new guide on this channel and in this one we need to talk about the random MIDI device on Ableton. Now everything is in tiny chapters so if you look at the description or the timeline you can jump to a section or skip the ones you don't want. And uh, if you like what I do, remember to like and subscribe. And if you want to buy me a coffee, you can just check the links at the description. Okay, so this is a MIDI device. It's gonna mess with the MIDI notes that we have right here. Now first, let me show you what we have and then we're gonna just learn how the random works. So I have a clip right here with the synthesizer um, using a, a, you know, a muted piano kind of a tone. So if I play it, it's gonna sound something like this and it's because the MIDI clip is going to be very simple. We just have C2 notes. Again, super simple. We are not doing anything challenging. Now this channel, this one, that, the one that says MIDI, it's listening to whatever we are doing right here. So we are, we are going to be able to record and then see how it's randomizing whatever is that we are going to do. Okay, so uh, the random, the it is a MIDI effect, by the way. So this sits between the synthesizer or whatever is going to create sound and the MIDI instance. So the MIDI instance will uh, output some notes. It's going to go through the randomized device, the randomizer or random device. And then this one is going to randomize it and then it goes out to the synthesizer. Okay, so we have a lot of things, a lot of options right here. We're going to start slow so we can understand everything. I'm going to go down on the choice, down on the scale. I'm going to keep it on at and we need to talk first about the chance. So what's going on is that when we play this clip, this one is going to play the notes. And for now, I'm just going to loop this. It's going to play the notes. And at some point, they will go right here to the random. And the random is going to decide if we randomize that note or not. Now, this is the chance. If the chance is all the way back to zero, zero percent, the notes will always be the same. So, and you can see it right here. It's going to tell you, dude, you are on the root. You are on the root. We are not doing anything. You're not going to plus and you're not going to minus. So we are not going up in semitones and down in semitones. So the chance is going to decide on a note by note basis uh, when it's going to go up and, you know, change that note or going to keep, keep it in zero. So right now we have a 50-50 chance for each of the notes to be transposed to something else. So now if I play it, it's going to be a little bit more obvious. Sometimes it's going to go up and sometimes it's going to go down or it's just keeping on, on the root on zero. And that's it. Now each note has a 50-50 chance. If you go up on the chance, at some point you're going to get a lot more of the plus and a lot more, a lot less of the root. Same thing if we go the other way. If we go this way, it's going to randomize and do less of the plus and keep it more on the root. Now this is just pretty simple, right? Just pretty simple thing. So I'm going to go to 50, around 50. I'm going to keep it uh, around there. Now, sometimes it's going to uh, go up. Now, in this case, it's always going up. Now, for now, I'm just going to disable the loop. I'm going to make it maybe, nah, leave it right there. And I'm just going to record whatever it is that we, we are doing. I'm going to record it. So what it's doing behind the scenes, it's just deciding if it's going to transpose the note, the root note, which is C2, uh, one semitone up. In this case, it's just, you know, did it uh, several several ways, several times on the same, on the same. But then it's going back and just alternating between one semitone up and then the root note, right? It's just very simple. Now, if I go right here, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go back to this one. We can see that it's on only going up. Now, if you go right here at the bottom, you can say that maybe you want to go down. And I'm going to be recording this. And notice that the minus is going to show up right now. And if I go to the clip, we can see that we have C2, but it's using, uh, it's transposing down, one semitone down. So that's what the uh, sub means. Now then you have the bi, which is gonna be bipolar. So in this case, instead of going up or down, it's gonna go up and, and down. So if I record this, we can hear it, and we are gonna be able to see it. Sometimes this is the root, Oh, made a mistake right there. So this is going to be the root right here. And we are going up or down. Depends on, you know, if the random it's deciding to go up or down. 
So all of this is just pretty obvious. I mean, the chance and if you go up or down or we go bipolar, for now I'm gonna go to add and we need to talk about the choices because right now what we are doing, we are just going up by one semitone. Maybe you don't want this. You want to change this behavior and all of this is gonna happen on the choices and the scale. Now I'm gonna keep it on add because it's going to be a little bit, um, a little bit more visual right here when we record this. If I go and do buy, sometimes it's going to be way up or way down. It's going to be a little bit confusing. Now it's still going to work. Everything that we do right here is going to still work on sub on in the bi and bipolar. But on at right now, it's just going to be a little bit more obvious to understand. So uh, the first thing we need to talk about is the choices. Now, right now, when we do something, I'm just going to try to explain this on a more logical way. So when, when it's, uh, we go to to each note, it's deciding, okay, so this one, I'm going to keep it in place. This one, keep it in place. This one, what am I going to do? I'm going to keep it in place or go up? Okay, I'm going to go up. Now, right now, the only way it can go up is by one semitone. And it's because we are saying, dude, you only have one choice. You can go up by one or down by one, but you only have one place to go. And we could change this uh, name to places to go, <laughs> pretty much. So you only have one place to go. So when it's uh, deciding that this one should be randomized, it can only go one up or one down. That's it. So here is where we, we start changing how much up and how much down we go. Now, in this case, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to go to three. So now on each note, this is going to decide, all right, so I'm, I can go uh, three places up. Uh, where am I going to go? Well, that's that's the random part. Now, if I delete this and I record it again, we can hear it's different. And now if I uh, go right here at the clip, we can see that something going on. Now, remember that our choice was you can go to three different places now, not just one place. So when we go right here and we check what, what's going on, we can see that it's going to three other places. The first place, this one is like choice one, it's going to a second place is the choice uh, two, and then it's going to a third place, which is the choice three. So it has three other places, which are the, the, this, uh, where it can go, but it's not going to a four, it's not going to a five and so on and so on. So it can go only to three places. That's why how the choice works. Now, if I delete all of this and start over, I can me be making, I don't know, five, and we can just uh, confirm this. Now we should be able to go five up. And if I check the clip, it's just doing that. Now, of course, this at the end of the day is still a random uh, device. Sometimes it's gonna be going really up or really down. It depends on, you know, how it's doing it. But now we can count. It's doing one up, is going to maybe, right now it's, notice it's, it didn't do two up, but it's doing three up. Then it did, it, we have a four up and a five up. So we have a five places where it can go. So this is how the choices work. Now we can just delete all of this, go right here and go crazy. And now we can, it has 24 other places where it can go. I'm gonna record it. And that's the way it works. Now, if I inspect this, of course, we need to make it a little bit longer. So it can go to two semitones, uh, you know, two uh, octaves up, 24 semitones up. So it's going all over the place. All right, so let me just go back. I'm going to delete this and go back right here. So you can go really up or maybe just keep it on the short side. This is completely up to you. Now, still, this is a random device. But it's still, you know, very controllable. You can decide how much, how much leash you're gonna give to this random device of, of in, in terms of how up or how down you can go. All right, so I'm gonna record this. We already know how this is gonna work. It's three choices. I'm gonna go right here and check what we have. And this one actually is a pretty good example. So we always do the root, and at some point it can go only three up. And it's going to one, and it's going to two, and then it's going to three. So what if I don't want this? What if I want to change this behavior? When maybe I want to go one up, maybe to this one, the first choice, I want it to, be, to make it, I don't know, starting from uh, three semitones up. I don't want to, to hit on these two notes. I just don't want to. And maybe when we go to the second choice, I don't want this. I want for this to go like this. And if we hit the third choice, we want this to be something maybe like that. We want something like this. 
So this is going to be the scale. So instead of choosing or separating by semitone, we can decide uh, how much we want to separate the choices. So right now it's one. That's why it's doing it by one. So I'm going to maybe uh, I'm going to go up on the chances so we can have more separation, you know, more random notes. And I'm going to be I'm going to be using three. I'm going to be using at and I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to be doing two so you can, you know, we can make it a little bit less obvious or more, more obvious in this case. So instead of doing one, which is what we've been doing, we are going to do two. So if I record this, let's see if we get a good example. You can hear that it's going a little bit more aggressive in the randomness. So I'm going to double click and see what we get. Let's see if we get a good example. Uh, yeah, maybe. So we have the root note and everything revolves around the root note, right? So then it's going to remember we have uh, three choices, so we can go to three other places. But in this case, instead of going to the next note, which is the first choice, the first choice now is going to be two up. Because remember, we are saying you can use you can, you need to go to two because your scales now is is two. So when we go here, it's doing okay. So I'm gonna this is my first choice, but I'm not gonna put it here. I'm gonna put it on this one. So it's doing one and then two. So that's gonna be the scale. Notice that we have a, an empty space right here. So then we have the other choice, which is going to be the three. So instead of putting all the notes just by one, one semitone, it's doing two. One and then two. And the third choice is going to be this one and is doing one and then two. So now the scale, you know, that the scale is controlling how it's going to use the choices. And we can be a little bit, you know, more aggressive and just make this a little bit more obvious. I'm going to go to choice number one. And I'm going to say that we want to maybe uh, do something around five. So we know that the, the uh, randomized, the random device can only use one choice. In, so instead of going up by one semitone, we can say you can go up by five and this is going to be super obvious. I'm going to record this. Right. So if I go right here, we can clearly see that this is, you know, what it's doing. We play root and all of this is still random. And then we go one, two, three, four, and then five. So one, two, three, four. So we get the five. So it's doing what uh, we specified on the scale. So this is how we can control uh, the random device. And again, if you go back, you can go crazy on the scale, just like the choices. And you, of course, will get a lot more randomization. But still, since this is a random device, it's a very controllable random device. You know, you can really control what's going on right here. And this is actually a good thing, not a bad thing. So you need to do a, a little bit of playing around with this. Now, one more thing that we didn't cover so far is going to be the mode. And this one is just a little bit weird to explain, but it's very easy to see. So I'm going to be going down in scale. So we're going to allow to go by one. And the choices, I'm going to say maybe that you can go to five, right? So you have five places to go. Now, instead of random, I'm going to do alt. And I'm going to record it. It's not very easy to explain, but it's very easy to hear and see. All right, so let's see if we get a good example with this one. Uh, maybe not. I'm going to do it again. Okay, so I have a good example right here. And notice that there is a pattern right now. It's going to this one up, this one up, then it's going back to the root, and then it's going, it's continuing from whatever we left off on this one, and then it going up, and then going up, then it's going back to the root, and then it's going up, then it goes back to the root, goes up from whatever it left off from here, from here, same thing, and then keeps going up from this one and up from this one. So this is how the alt mode, uh, mode works. And this is how the random works behind the scenes. It's going to rec uh, read a note and it's going to say, OK, I want to go up. Yeah, or not. I'm going to keep on zero. We have five choices and we can go only one by up. So what on each note it's going to ask is going to be uh, randomized. Yes or not? No. OK, so it's going to keep on the route. The next one is going to say, OK, so yeah, I'm going to randomize this. But I'm going to start on the first one because the mode is going to be alt. So it's going to the first one. The next note is going to ask, do we want to randomize this? Yes, it's going to hit the yes in this case. So it's not playing the root note. It's going to the next one. But since we have the alt mode, it's not going to whatever it wants. It's going to the next one after the previous randomized note. So this is how the alt works.
So then on the next one, we hit the uh, root and then root is still random, you know? And then on the next one, it's gonna say, okay, so this node, the one that's gonna go right here is gonna be randomized, but it's not going to here and it's not going to here. It knows that the previous randomized node was this one. So it's gonna be playing the next and then the next if we, if we hit the random. Now at some point we are gonna go back, go back, and if we reach the final one, you know, the last uh, place where we can go, it's going to start over and then over and over and over again. So this gives us this uh, type of crescendo, let's say. Let me delete this. And now the chance, I'm going to make it uh, more. So it's going to do it uh, mo more oftenly. Let's see. Notice it sounds like that. And we can see that it's doing something like that, right? So this is how the uh, how this mode works. It's a little bit different from the from the random because it's just still random, but it's a different way of random. Now if I go to 100%, let's see what happens. I'm gonna record this and let's see what we get. So we have a short clip. Maybe if you have a if you had a longer clip, uh, we can see it more in action. But now notice what what is what what is doing. It's playing the root and then going up. When it's uh, just reaching this section, it goes goes back to the root and then goes up and then up and then up. So now it's not so random anymore. So yeah, that's how the alt mode works. Now uh, that's it. That's pretty much uh, pretty much it. Now remember that you can still go to buy and do something else. Let's see what completely different, right? So if uh, if we check this, it's going up and then down, up and down. So it's just a different way. So remember on this, you need to do a lot of exploring and see, uh, you know, mess around with the values and see what you get. So if you learned something on this one, remember to like and subscribe. And if you have the money and you want to buy me a coffee just to say thanks, you can go to the links at the description. You have a YouTube thanks, I guess. You have a PayPal and you have a patron. So maybe you can be a one month patron, buy me a coffee and say thanks. You can. So see you on the next one.